Aló, aló, aló. ¿Cómo estamos? I'm your host, Gabriela Ramírez Arellano, and you're listening to the Authentico Podcast. Since we're starting the new year fresh, I wanted to give some history in case you don't know. Junior Lara and I started this journey with Authentico in 2018 because we were personally missing and looking for a space where we could learn and share our stories and our struggles. Then, after the pandemic started, Alejandro joined me, but now that he's moved back to San Diego, I decided, hey, there's still a gap, and we need our Latino stories, our Latino voices, to be visible, audible, and present. A place where we can learn from each other and share how we're getting through life. So today, I wanted to share with you about fountains and drains. In a recent Inc. article, I read that Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Keeley's college football coach, had said to him a long time ago something that has stuck with him. He asked him, was he a fountain or a drain? And how he lives his life consciously pouring into people because of that choice. So while the choice to be a fountain does not explain all of his success, it is an important lesson for us as leaders in our business and comunidades. And honestly, I learned something similar last year in 2023. I learned the importance of pouring into people. That was one of the things that I learned was how important it is to encourage and empower others. Because the more you fill people up, the more you support them in their needs, the more that they'll want to spend time with you, work with you, buy from you, invest in you. And it's also through these connections that we're truly alive. The more you act as a drain, the more you'll drive those same people away, the more you would drive opportunities away. So the article goes on to say that actually, everyone you meet is a fountain or a drain at any one moment. And I'm thinking that for most of us, both are true at different times and in different situations. The real question, what I want you to think about is, how can you spend more time giving and less time taking? Can you choose to be a fountain when it really matters? When a partner, a friend, family member, or employee needs you to be your best self? I'd love to hear what you think. I want to hear where you're at right now. Have you been a fountain at the beginning of the year? Or are you noticing that you've been more of a drain, taking rather than giving? And why? Why is that happening? Is it an automatic response that you can control? Or is it something that you just fall into? This year, I want to drive home the point how important it is to work on supporting each other more, cheering each other on, and empowering others. I hope you make it a beautiful day. I look forward to your thoughts about this topic. Where are you? And I also want to know what's on your mind.